Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how animals can be cloned by embryo transplants and adult cell cloning. And this is for triple biology students only. In the last video we looked at how plants can be cloned. So in this video we're looking at cloning animals. This is much more complicated and it's really important that you learn the stages as it's a common exam question. We're going to start by looking at cloning by embryo transplants and we're going to look at cloning horses but this could be used for any mammal. We start with sperm and an egg cell from horses with characteristics that we want. Fertilization produces a fertilized egg. We then allow the fertilized egg to develop into an early stage embryo. Now it's very important that the cells in this embryo must not have started to specialize. In other words, none of these cells must have started to change into any specific cell type. We now use a glass rod to split this embryo into two. Finally, we transplant the two embryos into host mothers. The embryos will then grow and develop. And when these animals are born, we will get two identical offspring, in other words, clones. Now, there's one big problem with embryo transplants. Because we start with sperm and an egg, we cannot be certain that the offspring will have the characteristics that we want. We can overcome this problem by using adult cell cloning. Adult cell cloning can seem tricky, but it's worth learning the stages. The key benefit of adult cell cloning is that we're cloning from an adult. This means that we know the characteristics that the clone will have. We're going to use sheep as an example. We start by removing a cell from the animal that we want to clone. For example, this could be a skin cell. We then remove the nucleus from this cell. This nucleus contains the genetic information from the animal that we're cloning. Next, we take an unfertilized egg cell from the same species. In this case, it would be from any female sheep. We then remove the nucleus from the unfertilized egg and throw it away. So the unfertilized egg now contains no genetic material at all. We now insert the nucleus from the original adult body cell into the empty egg cell. Remember that this egg cell now contains only genetic information from the animal that we're cloning. We then give the egg cell an electric shock and this makes the egg cell divide to form an embryo. These embryo cells contain the same genetic information as the adult skin cell that we started with. Finally, when the embryo has developed into a ball of cells, it's inserted into the womb of an adult female to continue its development. The host mother then gives birth to the clone. Now one key point is that the clone looks nothing like the host mother, and that's because the clone contains none of her genetic material. So just to recap, the benefit of adult cell cloning is that because we're cloning from an adult, we know the characteristics that the clone will have. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on animal cloning in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.